Hello and welcome to the Enterprise e-commerce demonstration. What I'm going to do is show you the integration between Enterprise Suite and ASP.NET Storefront. Just so that we're under no illusion, the two are talking to the same database. There's no synchronization of data, there's no separate SQL databases in the background, um, passing of XML files, the two work off the same database. So as such, ASP.NET Storefront needs to have full access to the SQL database. Okay, if we just log on to Enterprise as we would normally, and go down to the e-commerce part, this is where one would administrate the e-commerce website. You can already see I've, I've already opened up Interpri the Enterprise uh, ASP.NET website. This is the standard skin that comes with um, ASP.NET Storefront. All I've done that's different from what you'd get when you install the product is I've changed the logo there, there, and I've amended the phone number. Everything else is standard, so really an end user um, could use the standard skin straight out of the box. And with about 20 minutes of amendment work, um, they'd have a site that they could use. Obviously, you can go into a lot more depth, but you know, and skin it and all the rest of it. But this just gives you an, an example default skin. Okay. The e-commerce part within Enterprise is set up exactly the same as all the other modules. So you've got a new, a find, tools, and a setup. New, you see we've got item, categories, department, manufacturers. All those first four refer to things that are already within the inventory. So if we looked in inventory, obviously we've got item, we've got categories down here, and also manufacturer. So all we're doing there is we're just referring to the to the actual stock item. It's just we've put it within a module so that you could give someone just access to the stuff to amend the e-commerce rather than having to have access to inventory and a bit somewhere else. So it just encapsulates it within one module. Okay. If we have a look at the categories to start with, we can see here I've got something called new category. Oh, wrong one. And you'll notice it's not enabled to show on web. So if I actually go onto the website and click on categories and get the list, you'll see new category isn't there. If I go back, click on that, say save and close, you can see now that new category has been added. And that's how easy it is to amend the site. We'll also do, let's create a new item. So, like you create a new stock item, so let's call it 16 inch wheel. Put it into the bikes category automatically for me. It's just my defaults coming through from my class. Amending those. And that creates me a new stock item, just like it would in the inventory module. Now what I want to do is I want to upload some images. What we see, I just upload a thumbnail to start with. If we go back to the website now and go to bikes, what we'll see now is we've got a 16 inch wheel. We click on that, there's no picture. If we come back, go medium image, say upload. Oh. Refresh. And now we've got a medium image. So that's how easy it is to amend the site. So someone without any web experience, they, all they need to do is be used to the business logic with the enterprise and they can amend, update, add, you know, add new products to the website really, really simply. Okay, if we go back to bikes, you'll see here I've got 17 inch wheels. 
click on that, you see I've got a couple of substitute items and accessory item. Again, all those are set up within Enterprise. We come back, find night, find our 17 inch wheel. You see here we've got 19 and 20. We could add 21 inch wheels in there as well. Save and close. Come back and refresh. Now I've got a 17 inch wheel. So what those are is if these are in stock, we can kind of choose a substitute item just like you would on a sales order. Let's just click accessory, say add to cart. And that adds those both to this to the um to the cart. And then at this point I can say, well actually I want I want two wheels. Updates my cart and obviously so I want you know two wheels my frame. Now I can continue shopping or check out at this point. So let's just check out. And obviously I'm not signed in at the moment. So let's create a new account. So let's just do car. Just as you would on our website, just enter in the details. Take that, it inserts all the details in there, continue to check out. And that basically creates me an account. Now, at this point, if I go back into Enterprise and go Customer and go Find Prospect, what we see now is we have someone called Carl Jones. They're a prospect. Because I haven't bought anything yet, I'm a prospect within the application. If I double click on them, go to Additional Information, you can see there, there's my logon information. You'll see here, I've been given now a series of options um, for shipping. These have all come from um, a shipping group that's been set for me by my um, defaults in the background, which you can amend. Um, and let's just ignore these for the time being. I what I do is I show you on the on the payment terms because these, these work in exactly the same method. If I just go to my prospect, you'll see that I've got about six or seven in there. If I click on my payment term here. On one. You see here I've got one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six, seven that were appearing on the website. If I decide to change this group and say let's call it the default two, there's actually only two in there. We default to COD, save and close. Now when we refresh the website. We've now only got two. Just confirms the details. That then gives us an order number, order number 42. That pulls up our order acknowledgement. To use can print off. If we look, take note of the order number, we go into Enterprise, go find order, see we've got an order number 42. You'll also notice as well as the customer PO is web order, and using the grouping tools, we can group all the orders uh, so we can see all the web orders really easily. If we drop back into Prospect, you'll see as well, Carl Jones has disappeared and they've actually become a customer. So we just search in here. We've got two, it's actually number 67. There's order number 42. 